made it to the mall, made it to the mall. I'm gonna go to Sephora and get some stuff. Now at Target, Let's see if I could get this bedding from Target. Outside is so cold, it's literally brick outside. I have my puffer on. It's so damn cold. I don't I don't get it. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday, December 11th. Um, Thursday, I didn't do anything. Today, I'm going to have a haul video. So, as you know, I've I've been waiting for stuff to come in the mail for Black Friday and so far I have two of my shipments. The other two is somewhere out in the world traveling to get to me. I don't know when I'm ever going to receive it. Um, I think my H&M order might get here next week. I don't know. The Mayel Organics that I ordered for my hair might get here in 2021 honestly. like I have no idea. but. I have my Bloomingdale's order and my Nordstrom order that came for my Black Friday and then I went to Target and Sephora on Wednesday so I have those things. So first I'm going to start off with the stuff I got for Black Friday. I know Black Friday was like two, three weeks ago but here we are having a Black Friday all because my stuff finally came in the mail. Um, so first from Nordstrom, um, I got this travel kit um honestly i was gonna get a metal straw but then i was like i can't fold a metal straw and i like going out and you know going out to places and ordering stuff to drink so why not get a traveling case slash straw slash cleaner or whatever it's called the 52 by food 52 these are silicone straws and um travel cases and you could fold a straw in half or in quarters and put them in the case and it has the cleaner down here um and like you could definitely bring this when you're traveling like say you go to Mexico or you go to Europe you're not sure if they what kind of straws they use and because of COVID like you like you know they might give you a metal straw, but it, uh, you don't know if they're sanitizing it properly or whatever. So I have my own straw. That's about it. Um, I also got some glasses and these are called the BP 49 millimeter blue light blocking wire glasses. I, they're $15. Uh, this is what they look like. They're just gold rim, nothing fancy. I didn't want a fancy glasses. I just wanted like basic glasses to like do computer work while I stare at my laptop all day and work computer all day. So I got these, super cute. I was gonna get some Ray-Ban glasses, but those were like 150, I believe, or 125. And I was like, is it worth it? They're not sunglasses. So I was like, you know what? These are $15, they're cute, affordable. Might as well just get these. So I got them. The other stuff I got was uh, Madewell earrings. The first one are the medium vintage earrings. They look like this. Wow, focus, focus, focus. Okay, it looked like that. Um, I needed some hoop earrings and I normally wear just regular gold earrings, like 14 karat gold, but I was like, I need to, <laughs> I really need some like, regular non-expensive earrings because I have a tendency of the earrings like jumping off my ear and running away from me. So I ordered this one and then I also got the oversized Madewell earring um, look like that. So I normally don't wear earrings this size like this to me is huge and this is the first time I'm wearing an earring this big like I this is I don't normally do this but I was thinking this would look fire with a sleek back ponytail or a sleek back bun 
and a turtleneck or a crew neck or like something simple and then these earrings and like one necklace not a whole bunch of chains, but like one necklace and like look very clean and put together. So this will just up an outfit. So I got these. Um, this was, what is, how much did I pay for this? This was $18 and the medium earrings were $13.50. So that's everything I got at Nordstrom. The other stuff I got, well, the other one thing I got, one other thing I got from Bloomingdale's, um, is a watch so the watch I normally wear is my Daniel Wellington watch and um, when I went to DR went in the water um, my watch it's still alive but it's like running on its last leg and if you see like right here oh man like do you see that you see that Okay, it's like hanging on for dear life. My watch is literally hanging on for dear life. So, um, I'm probably gonna look into if they have, um, how much it is to like fix it. I, I'm like, I do want to keep the watch, but I was like, you know what, let me just order a new watch. Um, and I had a gift card for Bloomingdale, so that's what I, I just like ordered a watch from Movement. So, and it was on sale for 90, I think it was like $97, yeah. The original price is like 150 or something like that, or 130, and I paid 97, and I was like, that's not bad. Plus, it's not like I'm using my own money to pay for it. It was like a gift card I got last year, so. This is what it looks like. It looks similar to my, um, to my Daniel Wellington watch, but, um, still useful you know literally literally the same almost the same but I got this I, I thought it would be very beneficial to have another working watch and I needed a new one I had this one since I had the Daniel Wellington since I believe 2016 or 2017 so got that from Bloomingdale's that is it for my Black Friday haul um, until the rest of my stuff gets here. Next up on the docket, on Wednesday, as you know, after class, I had to go to Target and Sephora. So first up was Sephora. Went to Sephora. Um, don't know what this is. This is what they gave me at the checkout. Samples at the checkout. I don't use dry shampoo, um, but they also gave a Marc Jacobs mascara and Victor All Flower Bomb perfume sample. Cute. I don't, I highly doubt I'm using that dry shampoo though. So the main thing why I went to Sephora was to get some highlighter, a bronzer, concealer, and setting spray. I accomplished half the feat. I need to go to Ulta to get concealer um, but so far I got the Fenty bronzer in Coconati if you could whoa it's upside down you could see that maybe I don't know whatever I got bronzer and I'm like, I wear makeup, but I don't wear makeup. I hope you understand. I wear makeup, but I don't wear makeup. If I'm going out to an event, to a party, um, to dinner, brunch, I'll wear makeup. Now, I prefer not to wear foundation. Like I, I don't wear foundation unless I have to wear foundation. Um, I mostly wear eyeliner mascara, a little bit of highlighter, lip gloss or lipstick, that's it. But I need to like step up my makeup game. So, you know, I had to get a few extra things because what if I want to beat my face one day, you know, which is very rare. Like I really don't like wearing makeup, but I, I do if I have to. So this is the bronzer that I got. Coco Naughty, super, super nice. I also got the Anastasia Glow Kit. 
this was on sale for $20 and I was like oh sale me yes $20 sure I'll buy it so I got this highlighter palette and I was like this is cute I need it so got that has some nice colors so I can't wait to try it out and use it and also I went to Silverware because I had the $20 off VIB discount and I was like I don't want to waste it so like let me use it I also got um, lip balm I use the what is it called Rose Smith lip balm so this is the lip balm I use um, on the regular I used to use the Bath and Body Works um, CO Bigelow one but then I saw this in Sephora and I was like oh this is nice I like it so I got that and then I got setting spray now this was like a last-minute pickup this is the Urban Decay long-lasting setting spray so this was a last-minute pickup that I got and um, I was at the checkout and she was like you have to spend like $75 I was like okay what's the best setting spray and she told me Urban Decay so this is why I got it. I honestly never used setting spray before and we're gonna test it out. I'm not that scared for it. Um, you know, not like I wear makeup every day. So that's all I got Sephora, at Sephora. Nothing, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, the other stop was Target. Um, I went to Target, got some pajamas, um, got some bedding. So got this pajama set it's like silk short pajama set like how how cute it's black and white um it was 25 dollars i believe right right where's the price yeah 25 dollars i was gonna order a pajama set off of amazon but amazon's quality is very questionable so i was like let me go to target and it was hell like i walked into target went into the women's section looking for these damn pajamas I saw the shorts and they were ripped. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what the hell? Then I asked someone who worked there. She's pointing out in the distance like, it's over there. And I'm like, over where? Because I was like literally rummaging and searching through the clothing rack for these pajamas. And I didn't know they came in this box. So she, I, I saw someone else and I asked her for help. And she's like, yeah, I, you know, they're in, I saw them in the back. So she went in the back and got me these. Super nice. Then, I had to get bedding because, you know, adult life, you know, adulting, you want to adult, so you get bedding. So, I was on their Target app and I was looking through their beddings and seeing, you know, what was cute. And then, they have like their Target circle, which is basically stuff that it's like $10 off or on sale. So, I saw two beddings and I was like, ooh, these are cute, I need them. So, here we go. I got this bedding. Well, I'm showing you the back. Whoops. I got this bedding. This is the uh, threshold bedding comforter set with shams. Um, the actual name is called Clipped Channel Comforter Set. And I got a full queen. This is a very textured, very textured comforter set, if you could see that. Super texture. You can see the sides would look super cute on the bed so i got that this was how much was this this was originally like i think 90 or 100 dollars and it was on sale for 81 dollars um the other set i got which all i cared about was this one bedding set because it, it matched my aesthetic was this one which is basically the quilt design you can see that this is so big um and this one is called the um threshold montvale comforter set and it comes with like two shams two euro shams two decorative pillows bed skirt one comforter and the original price for this was I think it was like 90 something dollars or 100 and something dollars and it was on sale for like $62 and I was like what $62 for all of this all of this for $62 because you know comforter sets aren't cheap like bedding 
is not cheap. So I had to buy I had to buy this because hello, it's a steal. Um so that's all I got at Target. And anything crazy, today's Friday. I have work later. Um class is officially over. Grades, I think let me see, my professor might put the grades in in two weeks, maybe. Maybe by next week. Hopefully by next week, because I want to see what I got. Um, submitted my paper on Tuesday night. Spring semester starts at the end of January, beginning of February in 2021. Online class. I'm ready. I'm excited. Uh, out doses. Thank you for watching. Comment. Subscribe down below. That's all I gotta say.